first say that um, I, you know, understand the concept of people saying that there should just be a full ban on chokeholds. Uh, I want to be clear in the state of Wisconsin, chokeholds have not been trained. Chokeholds, um, you know, have not uh, been a part of the training process. And I have not talked to officers who have told me that they've had that experience of it being something that they've used within their department. So knowing that, we went to look. There's nothing on the books that says one way or another about chokeholds. So d is this bill the perfect? The bill that says no chokeholds across the board, it is not. But this bill is a bill, in my opinion, that narrows whatever presently exist in people's minds by one, putting it on the books that can't be trained, can't be a part of your process. I think that's huge. This is this is a uh, a good thing to do. I, I don't I don't agree with Milwaukee's policy that now they're going to accept that, and I think that's why you don't see it on the on the uh, legislation for tomorrow because I think we're going to do some legislation that will preempt that. Uh, we'll have to see, but uh, because it doesn't make sense, why would you want to take away something that an officer could use in their uh, to, to save themselves or, or somebody else in that situation that is actually a life-threatening situation, you know. Uh, so and we have body cameras now. We're working on that to get so people have a, a view of what's happening and at least one perspective, if not many.